Welcome back. This is going to be our MRS 21 Fall 2020 Midterm Review. Question number three, part two. Part one was so expensive. Uh, we had to figure, we had to find the interval, the uh, domain intervals first. Uh, and then we had to figure out the cost in this case. We, we found previously that our piecewise function was going to be E of X was 0.032x, which from all values of x greater than zero, but equal, less than or equal to 3,000. 0.045x minus 39 for all values of x greater than 3,000, but less than or equal to 6,000. And then, of course, 0.095x minus 339 for all values of x greater than 6,000. And again, if you're not sure how this happened, um, definitely watch the previous video. Uh, keep in mind that these values here, um, the idea is to is uh, definitely figure out how much how much it would cost uh, for that first 3,000 and making sure to add that to your 0.045x by 2,000 to get the and simplifying through and then figure out how much it would cost for the next 3,000 which was we found 135 and adding the 96 and the 135 to the to the third function cost of 0.095 times x minus 6,000, because all values of x, for all values of x greater than 6,000. And so that's how we got that. Now, uh, part B says, what would the monthly bill be for a family that uses, first off, 2,800 kilowatt hours. And so for this question here, for this one, we want to find out our domain. And in domain interval, it looks like it, we're going to be using this one here, because 2,800 is between is between zero and 3,000. So we're just gonna multiply that by 0 0.032. So 0 0.032 times 2,800. And you're gonna take out your calculator and, well, I'm gonna take my calculator and then multiply 0 0.032 times 2,800. And we get a bill of, in this case, $89.60. And so that's the first one. Now we do part, no, part number two. If we have, uh, we have a cost of 4,000, uh, we, we have a usage of 4,700 kilowatt hours. And so we go back, take a look at our, at our function. 4,700 falls within this domain. And so we're going to be using the 0.045x minus 39. And so 0 0.045 multiply that by the x value of 4,700. But we also have to keep in mind we're going to subtract 39 afterwards. All right, so now 0 0.045 times 4,700 is going to be $211.50 minus 39, though, because in the end, uh, we were counting for the overage in this case. So minus 39, the true value should be $172.50. Okay, that's for our second one. Oops. Sorry. Makes it a little more cleaner. There you go. 172 and 50 sets. A little zero at the end there. And finally for the last one, for part two, question number two, 9,000 kilowatt hours. And for 9,000 kilowatt hours, we're going to take a look and we see in this case, it's applied to our last function. In this case, because when X is greater than 6,000. So we're going to take our 0 0.095, multiply by 9,000, and subtract 339. Okay. And so 0 0.095 times 9,000 gives us $855 minus 339. means the monthly bill for this household will be $516, which is quite a bit 
but they are using quite a bit of electricity so okay all right so this is how it, this is basically we are going to we're going to find the find the correct correct formula to use based upon the domain interval and so you're comparing in this case between what values of x we're using all right that's question number question number b and now for the last one c how many kilo hours would be used by a family whose monthly electric bill was one hundred fifty dollars and thirty four cents okay so now this one is a little bit trickier we have to figure out we definitely know we definitely know in this case well uh, a couple of things um if you remember from the work we did earlier okay this ninety six dollars will represent will represent in this case the amount when exactly 3,000 kilowatt hours is used. So if your bill is greater than $96, it definitely is going to be, is definitely going to be, um, I would say in this case, uh, more than, it's a, it's a greater than $96, hours, it's definitely gonna be not in the first one. You definitely use more than 2,000 kilowatt hours. Okay, well, if we were to add these two together, the 96 and the 135, well, let's see now. We add 96 was 135. I'm going to bring this up a little higher so I don't have to move up so much. Okay. So we took 96 plus 135. We get an amount of, let's see, 96 plus 135, 231. Now, what would that mean? Well, this is for the first 3,000 kilowatt hours, and this will be the second. 3,000 kilowatt hours. So since our bill is definitely less than this, it would it does not mean we exceed. Because if you if we had again think about this carefully, if we had a bill greater than 231 dollars, that would mean that we use more than 6,000 units. Okay. All right. Because 3,000. Because in this case, 96 dollars is for the first 3,000, and 135 would be the cost total cost for the, for using up to the 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 next 3,000 fully. So we see in this case that our our values between that between is less than 231, and therefore we're going to be using our second function here. 0.045x minus 39. So 0.045x minus 39 is going to be the function we use, and we'll set that equal to $152.34. Okay. And so to solve for this, we add 39 to both sides. Bring this up a little bit here. So 152. Point thirty four plus thirty nine equals one hundred ninety one dollars and thirty four cents, and that's equal to point zero four five x. Now we'll divide both sides by point zero four five. And we see in this case, the kilowatt hours used is going to be 42,252 kilowatt hours. Okay, so it's about just just kind of finding the right equation to plug into. All right. And so that sort of helps in this case. Now, the other hint is going to be that if we saw from our from our work, okay that if 4700 kilowatt hours was 17250 and we're looking at 15234 you could have figured out in this case that well it's a little less than this one here and so it must be this function definitely bigger than the 96 though okay all right so i'm gonna do a full page now full page so you guys can see everything here and i hope this has been helpful i know some of these can be a little challenging all right uh, and so, so yeah, so look for, look out for this. So the, again, the key thing is going to be trying to figure out certain values in this case. Uh, like for example, if I use a maximum value of the first tier, 
how much it would cost for the maximum max, uh, 6,000 units for the sec second tier. And then, of course, you know, do you find your limits in this case, a range of what numbers you're going to be using? Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this is helpful. I hope that you guys uh, do well. And I look forward to seeing you guys later. And, um, well, good luck. Good luck with this exam. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care.